Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, bands are officially in. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Fires of Invention and Agent of Treachery have both been banned in Standard. Uh, this is officially now on Arena as well. So we're moving into a new Standard environment. Uh, decks we're likely not going to be seeing anymore in the present variation. Obviously any of the Fires deck, Jeskai, uh, Gruel Fire, stuff like that. You're also not going to see uh, Jeskai Luka in the same fashion. They won't be fetching Agent of Treachery. You may be seeing some that still play to get out Yadaro or uh, Dream Trawler. I've seen a couple of those on Ranked. Um, but mostly the meta is probably going to be a combination of Cat of Index, Team Rec, and the Bant mid ramp deck that was popular prior to the Companions. Um, well, we got kicked off, and I got a few decks for the new standard. I posted them all on Aether Hub. Um, but what we're going to start off with is a pet deck of mine. I have this deck in paper. I purchased it prior to COVID and never got to play it. Um, but it is Esper Doom Foretold. Uh, I finished top 1200 in January with this deck. And then when Companions came out, Agent is very good against this deck. So uh, it went from team so Team Rec and Agent are both very good against it. Um, but I want to give it a shot, see if we can still play it. Uh, it's built around Doom Foretold. It is an enchantment that on the beginning of each player's sacrifice, uh, upkeep, they sacrifice a non-land, non-token permanent. If they can't, if your opponent can't, they lose two life, uh, and then you draw a card and then gain two life and create a 2-2 two -two knight. So basically, it's kind of what's called as a stacks effect, where you're kind of putting a prison style effect. The way we break parity is having a lot of effects that give us value but also then leave a permanent. You have Birth of Milites, Omen of the Sea, Othakaya's removal that sticks around uh, and then you have stuff like Treacherous Blessing which draws us cards uh, and then we can sack it to the Doom Foretold to get it out of the way so we don't lose its downside. Um, one thing I want to try out, so there's a couple variations to my old list, uh, I'm trying out some Atris. Uh, it's a way to fill our graveyard that makes Dance for the, of the Mance better. Uh, it's also something that we can blink, um, and it's a menace threat, so something I want to try out. Uh, and then I'm running one Ashiok that I ran in my old lists. Uh, Ashiok's good because it can bounce some permanence to force a sack. It's also a token creator that survives after the Doom Foretold. Um, and then depending on exile effects, uh, you can start pl uh, playing stuff out of their graveyard potentially. Uh, Conquer's Death, obviously very good removal. Uh, I play one Elspeth as a way to escape out of the graveyard. It's probably the best escape card in these colors. If we had something like Croxa, I'd play that instead. Uh, and then I'm playing one Yorian mainboard. Uh, in the past, I've had Dream Trawler in this slot. I want to see how Yorian plays out. Uh, Yorian can blink a bunch of our effects and re reset them. Uh, you can get into the loop where you can basically recast it every turn with Teferi. Uh, by bouncing it back to your hand. You can get a Conqueror's Death loops going. So I did want to go up to 80 cards, and I want to try it in the main board. Uh, and then just some Shatters to Fairies to kind of round things out. I play one Castle Ardenvale, uh, just as a way to make tokens if you kind of flood out. Sideboard-wise, uh, Agonizing Remorse versus like the controlly matchups, Veto versus like Wreck or any of the control matchups, D-Spark, Flexible Removal, Cry is more sweepers against aggro, Kaya versus aggro or graveyard decks, Dream Trawler uh, versus more of the aggressive decks or a lot of the decks that are featuring direct removal, and then Heliod's Intervention for life gain and enchantment blowups. So we'll try it out. I'm like Diamond 3, um, so we'll play it out, see how it goes, and then uh, make some changes along the way. So I have quite a few decks. I have an Abzan variant of Doom Foretold ready. Black White Sacrifice, Salt Eye Midrange, Jeskai Control, uh, Team of Ramp that I'm working on. The Team of Ramp deck's actually pretty fun. I cast like uh, three Genesis Ultimatums in a game. Uh, Esper Doom. So, streaming throughout the weekend, if you do have any suggestions for decks you'd like to see in the new standard, do let me know. Uh, as always, if you do enjoy the content, if you're catching this on YouTube, if you haven't already subscribed, if you could. Uh, and if you haven't followed on Twitch, if you can as well, both are free and easy ways to help support the channel. Uh, this hand's fine. Treacherous Blessing into Doom Foretold is pretty solid. I'll keep it tough. Um, yeah, if there's anything, uh, I'm going to be playing a few of the decks. The one deck I'm not, like, 
thoroughly excited to see is Bank mid ramp coming back. I hate playing against that deck. It's super slow. Okay, Esper. This could be a mirror match. Um, I'm going to get Teft down now. Because they're Esper colors, they can have Othakaya, so I'm going to plus this turn. I'm going to go Treacherous Blessing next turn and then drop Doom Foretold. These Shatters won't be as good here. Yeah, so they have the Othakaya. So this might actually be a mirror match, which is quite funny. Uh, so I'm going to do this first in case I get a Scry line. Which we did. I don't think I want Melites here. Yeah, Team Erec, the thing is Team Erec's kind of always been a thing, so I've played around it quite a bit. Okay, so they'll make tokens here. Okay, so because we have the Yorian, I'm actually going to cast... the Conqueror's Death this turn. Because then I could Yorian and exile something else afterwards nope. if they're focused on attacking this Teferi down. So this actually probably is a mirror. Let them focus on Teferi next turn. I can go... Probably just the Doom Foretold to get that going. I want to get this off the table. Um, there's not really value to be had. Actually, I can sack the Teferi on my upkeep to get it back with the Doom Foretold. I can try digging for a land with this Omen of the Sea. I think we just do this this turn. So they attack the fairy this turn. So we have a couple options. I'm going to sack the treacherous blessing. If not, they attack everything into the fairy. I get it back. Okay, so they're just going face here. Stop that. Now. They don't play anything. Uh, probably sack to fairy. We get free value from it coming back anyways. Um, I'm really excited for Ugin coming out. Um, I think that card's going to be sweet. Uh, so let's go Loyalty here. I think we just plus Teferi. Uh, Azusa is something I've wanted for EDH. So nice to have that coming back into the format. I think we just passed the turn here. I can uh, Omen of the Sea and then also cast the Shadow of the Sky at instant speed. Um, the new Teferi is interesting. I really like the new Liliana actually as well in like a Jund or Rakdos shell. You ditch like Kroxa and then get to get it back. What do you think? What are you liking so far from the set? ECD. That's a little unfortunate. So I don't have anything to get back. I don't think we sweep yet. Looking for Doom Foretold here. Get them to sack this. Ashiok's actually interesting as well. Let's me start making tokens. I'm willing to be a bit more aggressive here. In part because um, they're more of a control deck. So I'm doing this to trade them off before they see Ashiok. 
Um, so what I can do is I could bounce one of their tokens and then that forces them to exile a card from their hand. Shadow this guy. So next turn, I can make a token, Yorion, blink a whole bunch of stuff. And then refill from there. Well, if our opponent's got nothing but ECDs in hand, it's boding well for them. So I can't quite Tef this turn, so I think it's just... Yorian blink everything because they don't have like anything in the graveyard worthwhile I'm okay um I just I want doom foretold the dogs are seem cool dog tribal the cat dog thing I'm not crazy about uh, so discard three cards. Don't need birth the Milites. Could probably just do with two less lines. To be honest, I probably don't need this treacherous blessing. We're also getting to the part where getting um, Dance of the Mance is reasonable. Thirty-four cards. So we've drawn ten more cards than the opponent. So this is Teferi bounce here. So what do we have in the graveyard? Unfortunate, all our threats got exiled. Which is quite annoying. I think this turn I just go Conquer's Death. I'm gonna exile the Teferi. This is hardly my worst Next turn I can Tef bounce this. And then Othakaya. Can actually do both. Probably Othakaya and then Tef bounce my Conquer's Death. At this point, I might be tempted just Tef minus on the Treacherous Blessing to get it off the table. We are at 8 life now. Okay. Conquer's Death there. So they are a mirror deck. Yeah, so the plan this turn. Doom foretold will be good the following turn, so I think we just go Othakaya. I actually should have played Teferi first. So the one thing is the trigger goes here, so you don't actually get the draw. But I need to get it off the battlefield. They're playing castle in their version. Um, I think we just get rid of the omen right now this might be a bad idea so i can make a token on end step they're going to have to sack two things first So we should be able to break their parity by having more permanence down. 
They've already used the Dance of the Mance, and most of these decks only play one. It's actually really funny. The first deck we play, queued up against is a mirror. Okay, and they're also playing Atris. So I'm going to do this, because I don't want him to have the Conqueror's Death. He took the two. I'm just going to kill that. Conqueror's Death is nice. So I'm going to hold off on the Conqueror's Death, because it lets me... Uh, or do I have to do this? Because the problem is... Or I guess theirs goes two. Well, why did they get the draw? They had the stack the sack on the trigger. So I'm going to sweep their board. I, I just want to be able to Conquer's Death, their Conquer's Death. This is hardly my worst defeat. So I'm doing this now. Can make a token. Right on I've got Wonder how close opponent's been playing pretty close to the same deck as us. I'm wondering if they are playing our exact list. Okay, Doom for Tolts. So let's start with, let's attack the fairy. Drop down Doom for Tolts. Time is a consideration, especially in these longer matches. So if the opponent sees the line, they bounce this, they exile this from our hand, which they do. Yeah, I think our opponent's on the exact same list as us. I wonder if they took it from me. Um, here, I think I need to draw a card, okay, so we have Tef. Trying to find Dance of the Mans here. Okay, we have Doom Foretold. That also forces a sack out of them. Even the gods cannot escape my life. You are going to fight, fight beside me. They do have this Conqueror's Death, which can get Ashiok back. Two Dance of the Mans, two Atris left, three Othakayas. They don't have another spell. They do need to sack this to the Doom Foretold. So it'll be interesting to see what they target here. Ok, 
kind of want the life gain from this so I can start drawing cards. Okay, so they do have Birth of Melides. Not the best card to be drawing. Should still have planes left. They can make a token here and trade if they want. Not really what I want here. Problem is with Shatter, it's another card in our hand that we can't necessarily get rid of without losing our board. Okay, Blessing refills their hand. 23 cards. Othakai can just go face here. It limits our ability to draw cards. I have the second oath. Yep. Okay. So opponents on our list, like identical. Uh, so this is an Agonizing Remorse, Heliod's Intervention, D Spark, Kaya. Probably Vito as well. Uh, I don't like Dream Trawler in this matchup, it just gets um, sacrificed. Uh, coming out. Treacherous Blessing's fine, Atris is fine, so I'll probably just get rid of the Shatter the Skies. Do I want Yorian? There's probably value in having Yorian. The Sparks fine, Heliodes. Trim to Othakaya's. I think I'm just gonna cut the Birth of Melides. Because this doesn't always stick around and it's a pretty bad like late drop probably like another oath maybe to fairy not to fairy post board they're probably gonna have counters it's probably elspeth see attrition wise this isn't the best maybe it's a doom foretold to be honest Because they're going to have their own Doom Foretolds. So as long as we commit to the board, we're probably fine. I think we run it like that. It's not as effective when your opponent's playing a similar concept. Having all those blessings early... Um, we don't have white mana, we go first, we don't have any permanents, I think we mulligan. Okay, this hand's better. Put this at the bottom for now. So if I can like clip something with agonizing remorse and then drop the fairy for protection. That is if we hit another land. Okay, so they have Remorse of their own. They have Treacherous Blessing. I think I take the Remorse. Like, these refill their hands, but my hand's not great, especially if I miss lands. Perfect. So I think here... I go Othakaya. It's worse if they brought in counters. But this lets me potentially get Doom Foretold. It's also something that with a minus I can reset with Teferi. I don't particularly want to just... Minus Teferi on its own. I probably should have played Teferi up. So 
So them drawing Omen Omen is good for them. Just gonna plus this turn. It protects me around Othakaya. Can get Doom going. Mind you, now I probably don't want Doom going. So I kind of want to hit a land. So I'm not going to bounce that. So the reason I didn't bounce this is if they dropped their own um, Doom Foretold, then it was quite impactful. Yeah, they have Conqueror's Death here. So let's see what they hit. So now comes the part of Conquering Deaths, the Conquering Deaths. Let's see who could conquer death harder. I've already done the arena update, I don't know why it's telling me I need to. Actually, think I'm gonna bounce this because I get it back. Don't worry. I got this. Uh, there I did have a sideboarding bug where I had to restart afterwards. Like in between a match I was playing before off stream. It looks like they're just trying to find something. This lets me hold up the spark as well, so if they have something like Conquer's Death. That actually bodes well, especially because I have this Doom Foretold. Because they have Treacherous Blessings up. Alright, so I'll probably just wrap it up after this game, do the reset, and then stream a different deck. Playing the mirror. I haven't played against Doom Foretold in at least a month. Like, I'm happy losing to this deck. It's my baby. Uh, and it's funny, the first time we queue up, it, we run into Doom Foretold. I am proud of my The old four mana Birth of Melides. Okay, I was hoping for a bit more action to be honest. Go face, put pressure on their life total here. I'm gonna plus the fairy this turn and then bounce their token next turn so I can attack in with Elspeth. We can exact justice. Yeah, it's always annoying. It's like you as soon as you tailor a deck to play against a certain deck, like I was expecting a lot of aggro in the beginning. Um, this deck's generally pretty good against aggro because you have a lot of sweepers and just board interaction. Um, but uh, you just run into these like weird decks even like i hadn't played against simic flash in forever and then i, I queued into two games in a row against flash it's kind of hoping to play against reclamation that match was always like 50 50 because they don't play many permanents so you can usually break their parity pretty easy and lock them out but at the same time they can just have these turns where it's untap and then kill you Okay, they just went with a life gain plan. That's a great draw. Especially if their hands all lands Dance of the Mance. Yikes. Do I have enough to escape this back?
So I think here I'm just going to hold Elspeth. It'll let me attack through something if need be. Don't think I want Conker's death just yet. They can make a token here. We just wait. That's more like it. If their whole turn's just tokens, I want them to take damage off this treacherous blessing. Plus, I have answers to whatever they play out. That's a good follow up. Go blessings here, refill our hand. So I can Atris. Atris, oh, I wish it would have kept me this watery grave. So like Atris will likely find me a land. Because I want to hold up one of these if need be. Can Yorion and reset a whole bunch of things. Can Doom foretold. Let's just Atrus this turn. You need to be mindful of time. I only have 15 minutes left on the clock. Need to try to speed up this match. They top both. Do I care? Nah. I got wind conditions here. Dream Trawler is a problem. Um, so here... I want to Conquer's death target this because then I can doom foretold as well to get around the dream trawler because with Teferi they can instant speed. This does give him another draw, but that's fine. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah. They see the writing on the wall. So it's a way around Dream Trawler. So they brought in Dream Trawlers in this matchup. Um, do I want my own Trawlers? To be honest, these Dance of the Mance got pretty worse, or pretty bad. So maybe we bring in one Shatter, just as another way to deal with Trawler. Okay, maybe, maybe, let's see. 
Um, mulligan that. Ah, we lost. Ah, uh, not thrilled. Probably should have kept that first hand. I think we just keep lands here. Gonna hold this up for veto on two. They drop something like Teferi, I'm interested in that. The two Conquerors death could potentially help us catch up. Wasn't even paying attention to that first hand. Um, this turns on Castle, but we're more likely to find a land. I want some sort of action. They're going to take one of our Conqueror's death. I'd rather they don't. The shock there probably means they have a veto. But the way our hand's structured, we're kind of priced into playing into it. The opponent's straight on our list. Be gone. I'll be back. Just you. So if we can duck a counter, this might be Dream Trawler. Doom for Tolds. Get Vito. Opponents probably got us. They hit two of our vetoes. And we're on a multi five. Come on. Okay. They take likely the the pile if I had just done thing. Okay, so I do like blessings. Okay, this forces at least one of their things to be gone. Slows down the clock a bit. Blessings should hopefully draw us into something else. For multi five, we're not completely out of it. Kai is putting some pressure, but we're not really putting things into our graveyard yet. The pain of every okay, they just opt to go for the damage there. I would like something like a Teferi. Bounce this token. Certainly helps from a parody standpoint. So I don't really want a second blessing right now. Jeez. It's also not helping. Um, probably just try to pick off something from their hand. So they have Doom, Yorian. Elspeth conquers death. Yeah, opponent's straight on our list. The problem here is like I could get rid of this blessings, but I'm at eight. I need a way to have Teferi, and then they have this veto for a Teferi. 
Well, I lost to my own deck, so the deck's got a 100% win rate. And I don't think it let a sideboard, so I don't actually have a sweeper in the deck right now. Um, let's go Omen first. Don't think I could really afford either. Well, playing to my outs. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of the veto. Okay, so that forces the that out. Okay, so we got Tef for next turn, so that kind of keeps us alive. Can bounce this token at least. Kai is a ways away. I was hoping for something a little bit better than just... They bounce Kaya? Or they kill... Even if they have Conquer's Death... You can still plus it for the turn. They may do this for Yorian to refill their hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I basically need like to fairy bounce this, draw conquer's death, exile this. Ah, they just dance to the mance. This forces me to sack two, so I'm gonna lose two life. I could bounce one token, but that's not enough. Yeah. Mulling to five in a game of attrition is not the best way to win a game. Also, now just drawing nothing but lands, also not helping the cause. Let's slow this down. Here we go. Oh, we're going out on our own terms. Conquer's death was a turn away. That would have helped. All right. What's with this client? So I'll play a best of one game with this quick, just the clients being a little particular right now so I don't want to necessarily go into a huge game with it again um, like I said I'll be playing a few decks on stream over the next couple days so I'd rather do variety right now while the, the format's fresh um, like, I, I just feel like if we queue up now, I'm going to get stuck against, like, mid-ramp, and we're going to play forever. Um, generally, the stacks matchups are really who could kind of establish board priority. Um, so we go first. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to lead on the Temple of Enlightenment. And we're really just looking for untapped land here, ideally for two. Against Mono Red, this hand's very good. Perfect. So I'm actually going to prioritize getting... A planes out. This makes a blocker. Red is likely going to be a creature based deck. Most control decks are going to be blue white. So if they splash red, you're not likely going to have a mountain. 
This lets me Othakaya something on two if needed, and also it gives me an 04 with the life gain. Um, probably just do this now. Let's me set up the scry for next turn with Omen. If they play something like Annex out, that's a, likely going to be a light up the stage here. Play a land fervent knight. Probably okay for lands. We got to five for the most part. That's where we want to be. This is where I say I'm against this deck. Like against mono red, it's pretty good. So if their turns just drop all this down, I'm going to shatter this guy. This also lets me play around them getting more mana from this. Um, I kind of, yeah, I guess Othakaya's are free in this matchup, gains a lot of life. If they play anything big, I have this. If they play anything small, I have this. They play nothing. Five mana, play out nothing. This is likely dead from a burn spell. But it gives us card advantage. Our life total's pretty high as well. So with Conqueror's Death we can get the Ashiok back. Opponent's hand must have just been like straight cleaves. Okay, I'm probably going to wrap this one up. Um, I'll come back with some other streams uh, to play out some different decks. Um, and then we can go from there. I'm going to uh, wrap up Esper Doom. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. And if you do have any suggestions for other decks, do let me know. Thanks and have a great one.